Welcome, folks. I'm hoping you're well wherever you are. Now, um, William Ruto went to UAE, United Arab Emirates, and actually we saw the reception there, and I believe the president was welcomed. Now, um, there are some things that have come out here. I mean, you see now Mudavadi is now a darling to the president, like the way he's being respected. We could see how he was introduced, yeah, to the Arabs when when Udo said that this is the Prime Minister and this is the CS Foreign Affairs. And this shows this showed that Mudavadi was second in command. When you look at the clip very well, you realize that Ruto was referring to Mudawadi as his deputy. And of course, this leaves Gashagwa with no choice but to accept that he's got, he's got no space in the Kanda government, yeah? except running his mouth. Yeah? You know, because he's <laughs> Yeah, his job is to run his mouth. Yeah, but he's got no no job in the Kwanza government because he's not respected. He does not even hold serious function. Yeah, we see Mudavadi going everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. traveling across the world to represent Kenya, a job that's supposed to be done by the Gashagwa. So Gashagwa's job is to run his mouth. And of course, this shows that Kikuyu is more Kenya. Well, we are lied to because. They believe that they will form, they will, they will take 50% of the government. But now they are nowhere to be found. <laughs> yeah. Actually, they are crying out there. The taxes, the everything, they are crying. They are like, we wish we knew you could have listened to Uru Kenyatta. Because Uru told them that they are getting themselves into holes that they won't be able to come out of. Yeah. Because Uru warned them that Ruto is not the best choice for them, but they instead insulted Uru Kenyatta and to make the matter worse for them, they voted for Ruto. And now it's time to face the consequences. Now just imagine, what do you think will happen in Ruto's last term? Because this is just the, just, just, just the first term eh? and we're seeing all this. So the, the, the last term means that Ruto will really crash Mount Kenya. Because he won't need them anymore. Right now, he's pretending because he knows very well that he will need them when it comes to 2027 elections. But after the elections, should he win the presidency again? After the elections, what will happen? <laughs> he will really crush these people. He will show them the true, you know, close, yeah, the true color. He will show them, and actually, these people will end up hating this man. That's the reality. Right now, you know, they're being, you know, told light to yeah? They're being told we will do this and that. But after that, actually, there are people who are holding serious offices in the government. Moses Kure and the rest will be either demoted or they will be chased away. That's what will happen, yeah? So, you, you know, you need to be careful with what you wish for. <laughs> because this was all, they all told all this, yeah? So, they said to do it their own way and now they are suffering their own way. <laughs> That's the reality. Tell me, do you think this matter is serious or do you think it will end or do you think we are overjudging this issue? Just tell me what you think. Yeah? Tell me what you think.